That's Clint Peterson. He. Okay, he is a criminal. He's done time for <laughs> larceny and distribution. But he's turning it around. We are this close to getting his kids into St. Agnes daycare. St. Agnes! Get Maggie. Tell her he's awake. Electra. How do you feel? Don't try to stand up. Where? Where? St. Agnes, the orphanage. He came to us right after he lost his father, his only family. He was alone in the world, in his private darkness, surrounded by strangers, yet he seemed fine during the day. He'd eat with the others, attend his classes, go to mass. But he was plagued by awful nightmares. He'd wake in a sweat, screaming. He didn't say what they were about. He'd just call out for help. So I'd go, and I'd hold his hand till he fell back asleep. But I have so many children under my care. Matthew wasn't the only one. His nightmares went on for months. One night, Matthew called for help, and I didn't answer. I didn't go to him. He never asked us for anything again. He shut us out, shut everyone out. Everyone in Matthew's life abandoned him, including me. <laughs> He's getting worse. When we first took him in, Matthew's problems seemed less severe. Now he's in so much pain. Doctors, clergy, no one has any idea what's wrong with him. We heard about your work with special children and thought maybe you could help. I just want you to know that I think you're a hero, hiding down here feeling sorry for yourself. Let me just step back. There's an orphanage full of kids who've lost everything and everyone. Some of them are disabled, much worse off than you ever were. And they're still trying to make the most out of life, the little cowards. OK. All right. You're a criminal. You have a warrant somewhere. Probably. Specialized skill set. I try to stay humble, but fail. No family. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit a nerve, but that is what these people do. Shield. They prey on fear and loneliness and desperation, and they offer a home to those who have no one else to turn to. You and your brothers, where'd you grow up? Massachusetts, mostly. A house? You didn't? One house. Brodies. Mm. I was nine. Sending back to St. Agnes after a month. So I wasn't a good fit. Foster parents. You first? Me third. I'd heard it before, but this one was different. Because you wanted them to like you. Bad. I called her mom once. Tried it out. Guess it wasn't a good fit. Why are you here? You've been keeping something from us this whole time. And it wasn't just a boyfriend. You have a secret, Skye and one chance to come out with it. That's now, or I'm done with you. What is this? It's everything I have. On us? On me. It's 
That's why I learned to crack systems. Why I joined the rising tide. To find any details I could about my parents. There's nothing. No records. There's no trace of them. My lifelong search has led to a single document. Redacted. My shield. No matter what you do, I'll never stop looking. You might not like what you find. It can't be worse than what I've imagined. Maybe I can help. I could run a search on the redacted shield file on my parents. Sky. But it just seems like the place you keep them, right? I'll look into it. I just wanted to let you know that I didn't forget about what you asked me back at the hub. Uh, what do you mean? The unredacted file about your past. I found it. Oh, what did it say? The document wasn't about you directly. It was about the person who dropped you off at the orphanage. Turns out it was a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. A S.H.I.E.L.D. agent? Why? I mean, who? What does that mean? The agent was unidentified. We don't know if she was your mother or if she just found you on a doorstep. Mother? Was a woman? I put in a request to dig further into the files for any related materials, but right now that's all I have. I'm sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much. You finished reading it yet? Mm. What'd you tell her? The truth. I told her a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent dropped her off at the orphanage. But you didn't tell her why. I can't. Some secrets are meant to stay secret. Will you help me find out what really happened? Dangerous waters. I've been looking into Skye's past like you asked, into the agent who dropped her off at the orphanage. Agent Avery, she was killed. But her partner wasn't. He disappeared. Richard Lumley. Went off grid 23 years ago, day after Avery was crossed off. Agent Linda Avery? She wasn't the first one to die. We were headed into the Hunan province of China. Senior agent called in an 084. An object of unknown origin dealt with those before. He said the entire village had died, trying to protect this one. Avery and I were just fresh out of the academy. There were five of us running the back end until we lost communication with the first team. We went searching, we found the senior agent under a bridge. Okay, he managed to escape with a gunshot wound to the neck, but he bled out. He was still holding on to the 084. Poor thing was covered in blood. We thought she was dead, too. But sh she was just asleep in the dead agent's arms. Wait, the baby? The girl was the 084? If she had powers or something, we never witnessed it. The five of us helicoptered the kid off, headed home. After we landed, we started getting crossed off. Executed? Tortured, heads bashed in. And when it came down to Avery and I, we realized the only way to keep our people and the kid from being hunted was to erase her from existence. Avery was smart. She used the lead agent's credentials to fake a level eight clearance. She set up a nearly invisible protocol. The foster system was ordered to move the child around every few months. But they still got to Avery. She died protecting that secret. 
Agent May and I went down to Mexico City to talk to somebody. Somebody who knows where you came from. Tell me. When we started this, I warned you that you might not like what you learn. And I told you that it can't be worse than what I have imagined. It is. The agent who dropped you at St. Agnes was not your mother. But she was killed trying to protect you. 24 years ago, an entire S.H.I.E.L.D. team in a small village were massacred. To protect and secure. You told her, didn't I you? I had to. Must have destroyed her to hear all that. That's the thing about Skye. What I told her shattered her world. Her lifelong search led to stories of murder, and now it's too difficult to continue. Her search is over. Her story ends here. But you know what she said? Tell me. She said no. Her story started here. Her whole life, she thought she wasn't wanted that she didn't belong, that every family that took her in didn't want her to stay, didn't care. But all that time, it was S.H.I.E.L.D. protecting her, looking after her. That's what she took away from the story. Not the family she'll never have, but the one she's always had. Here I am telling her something that could destroy her faith in humanity, and somehow she manages to repair a little peace of mind. The world is full of evil and lies and pain and death. And you can't hide from it. You can only face it. The question is, when you do, how do you respond? What is your first name? Sky. And what is your last name? Only name. No family, no family name to inherit. And you gave yourself the name Sky. Well, the name they gave me at the orphanage was Mary Sue Poots, so. Do you remember what it was like to, to see? I, uh, yes, I remember. I can't, I can't imagine what that must be like. You know, I'm, I'm supposed to say I don't miss it. It's what they teach you in trauma recovery. Define yourself by what you have. Value the differences. Make no apologies for what you lack. And that's all true for the most part, but... It doesn't change the fact that I... I'd give anything to see the sky one more time. <laughs>